And taking a live look right now at Key West tonight, as Angie and John just mentioned, Key West is now under a tropical storm watch. That's right. That means residents are preparing ahead of the storm. For NBC6, reporter Yvette Lewis picks up the story from there. Hey there. Well, today has been business as usual down here in Key West. People are out and about enjoying this weather, this beautiful Sunday afternoon. As you can see, just taking a stroll down here, Duval Street, full of people. So, of course, conditions are expected to change tomorrow, possibly at night. So authorities are asking people, both tourists and locals, to continue keeping an eye out on this storm. Although as of this afternoon, this area would not be directly impacted by Ian. Authorities expect we're going to feel strong wind gusts, see some heavy rain and likely some flooding. Very common here in the Keys, especially Key West. The main message officials are sending out right now is don't lower your guard just yet. We're expecting the winds, definitely the winds and uh, flooding two feet. Uh, uh, so as of now, two feet. Just don't be uh, too naive. It could, things can change. But as of now, we all, you know, the cone has moved west, which is a good thing, but we still, we still have to be vigilant. Meanwhile, most locals we have spoken to are optimistic, but waiting to see what happens in the next few hours. At the moment, we're maintaining ourselves alert. We're just looking at the news, making sure we have everything updated, making sure that if anything happens, we're out. If Tropical Storm Ian continues on the same path, authorities estimate that wind gusts could reach 40 miles per hour or more sometime tomorrow night or Tuesday. If this is the case, rescue teams would not be able to respond to emergency calls, something important to keep in mind. There are no plans for evacuations at this point. Government buildings, schools are expected to remain open tomorrow, also Tuesday, but that will depend on the track of the storm. So authorities are keeping an eye out for that. In Key West, Yvette Lewis, NBC6 News.